Welcome back to Terror by the Bay. I'm David. Okay. We, Gary and I did this reading last week on the Twin Tarot channel. Oh, hold on for a second. Time to pimp some things here. So, do you like the content you get on this channel? Do you wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and uh, snark away, enjoy the little political snark that I threw out there? Or maybe you're an insomniac and you just need this to put you to sleep at night. Regardless, if you like the content you see on this channel, there are other channels you can check out too. Um, I have an international channel called uh, Tarot of the Seven Seas, where I focus on international tarot readings, mostly in the EU. And I also have a channel that I share with my identical twin brother, Gary, called Twin Tarot with Gary and David. Very clever name. We spent hours coming up with that name, um, where uh, Gary and I... Uh, do readings just like this, except that there's two of us, and we sound exactly alike. We look mostly alike, and if I probably lost a bunch of weight, I'd look a whole lot more like him. But, you know, if you're just listening, <laughs> good luck telling the difference between the two of us as we're doing the reading. Uh, we have very similar senses of humor, we play off of each other, and just have a generally good time hanging out, throwing tarot cards, and reading on things. So, if, if you like this, and you want more content, check those things out. Okay, end of the pimping of the other channels. Um, as I was saying, Gary and I did a reading on this last week. Uh, will Donald Trump debate Kamala Harris again? And it came out yesterday on Saturday. And then CNN announced that Kamala Harris had accepted another presidential debate with them for the latter part of October. Uh, after our, uh, our reading was recorded like six days prior to, uh, to uh, the CNN announcement. And also, I don't remember what we said would happen out of it. Um, but Trump is saying, no, it's too, it's too late. You can't do another debate. Uh, she, I've already done two debates. She's only done one. That's all she gets. <laughs> Basically, I won the debate, and she, and she wants a rematch. He's, he's just convincing himself that he's won the debate because he surrounds himself with a bunch of lying psychophants and they tell him what he wants to hear, just like Trump tells his base everything they want to hear. They can't deliver on it, but that's okay. It's not about delivering on it. It's all about how you feel when you hear the message because he's kind of shallow and vacuous like that. There was just a little headliner of a CNN article that I did not read, but the, the headline was great. It's like, does Donald Trump really want J.D. Vance to have the last word in his campaign it's like oh that's a great title <laughs> you know you think about it really don jd vance the guy that you don't even talk to your vice president guy that you don't talk to you want him to have the final word to the american public about your campaign <laughs> does that sound like something donald trump would do no <laughs> if donald trump would be the type that would push jd vance out of the way and uh, debate um, Tim Walls because Donald Trump and Donald Trump alone knows what to do and how to do it. Cole, could you imagine Donald Trump going after Tim Walls? Can you imagine the debate? I mean, Kamala just dissected him with surgical precision. It was like watching a, uh, it's like she looks like a fencer. Like, you know, again, with the foils, tab, tab tab you know and just 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 nailing him and just causing him to bleed tim walls <laughs> he's kind of more no, no offense i'm not saying anything bad about him it's more the louisville slugger kind of guy you know oh <laughs> pow <laughs> really i can only imagine you know, donald trump going after Tim Walls. Tim Walls, who's been in the military for 24 years um, uh, at the highest non-com rank that you have. You know, this guy could probably take down anybody vertebrally if he wanted to because that's what you're trained to do. Oh, it would be a bloodbath. It, it would be such a different vibe. It, you know, it would be like trying to out-insult Don Rickles. Good luck with that. <laughs> the audience is going to kick back and watch you make an absolute fool out of yourself when this guy eviscerates you. But okay, you go for it. All right, so I want to not so much read on the um, vice president debate because I'll have plenty of time to read on that one. We're only uh, nine days away. I record this on Sunday the 22nd. 
It's going to be October 1st. But I want to read on Will. Uh, so Donald Trump said basically he doesn't want to debate Kamala Harris again. But does he? Can he really go? Uh, can he really let her go unanswered? Is JD Vance really going to be the last word? Maybe the maybe his campaign's dead in the water after JD Vance takes uh, the stage. Who knows? Come on down. Energy around Donald Trump having another debate with Kamala Harris. Entertainment purposes only. What do we have? An upside down deck. We have the justice card here. Oh, and these court cases certainly aren't happening quickly. What are you going to cross the justice with the sun card and the page of pentacles? Okay. Um, here's the deal that I'm getting with this. As I talk about court cases, his willingness to do a debate against her would probably happen as a way to distract revelations coming out on court cases with regards to him. Because obviously in a debate... You're not going to talk about anything that's going to legally get you into trouble. You're not required to tell the truth under a debate. You're not under oath. But the debate would be a distraction from really unfortunate court cases coming out. And I'm looking at you, January 6th case, in Judge Tanya Chutkin's uh, court. Maybe evidence is starting to be revealed at that point, and now you got to change the narrative. And the only way Donald Trump can change the narrative is to be front and center of the camera, you know, screaming about the dogs and cats in Springfield, apparently. In the past, you got the Knight of Swords. Um, he's Donald Trump is a very reckless person. But I think what's happening here is justice is finally starting to careen with this election, with that timing. Um, I really... I, I'm hoping Dodd, uh, Judge Chutkin doesn't follow this whole, oh, we can't indict somebody or, you know, went that close to an election. But something's coming quickly. Something in the past is now coming forward, and it's coming forward quickly here. Current situation is the Ace of Pentacles. Whatever the information is, it's going to be big. There's big information coming from uh, the court system what, or, or anything involving justice. So... It, could, it may not be the January 6th evidence per se, but it could be that there's some bombshell evidence that's released that needs damage control. Overarching energy is the Six of Cups. That, you know, it's going to shock some people to their foundation, either from what they believe Donald Trump was or his inter inter interaction with his followers this could be a completely different case. This can involve young women in trafficking. Maybe even that, uh, that, um, oh God, I'm drawing a blank on her name again. The woman that uh, said she raped him when he was 13 years old. I know you'll put in the comments. I'm sorry about that. Let me go take a look real quick here so you don't have to do that. Katie Johnson. Thank you, Google. Um, you know, it could be revelations about Katie Johnson, other things, maybe Epstein. Um, Matt Gates's stuff may even be coming up at that point, too. Lesson to be learned is the King of Cups. How funny! <laughs> oh, man. Just, just a slightly different reading on this one if you consider this to be Joe Biden. Uh, so, lesson to be learned is you need to control your emotions, keep your emotions in check. However, let's put that as Joe Biden for a second. This is what Trump gets for attacking Joe Biden every chance he gets. Just racing forward, attacking him. He got Joe Biden to drop out. Kamala Harris comes in and takes his place. And now Donald Trump misses Joe Biden something fierce. Because he doesn't know what to do with, with Kamala Harris. She's, she's the next level boss and he has no ability to defeat her. Outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. Um, yeah, so we're looking at potential things, distractions from court cases here. And, <coughs> you know, and women's and re women's reproductive rights. You've got that going on, too. You might, maybe he gets more polling numbers about women wanting their reproductive rights back, and they're blaming him for it. There's a lot going on here. Court cases or abortion 
will probably force him to try and do this again. He may go on again. If he goes on again, it's either to distract. Well, it's going to be to distract. It's either going to be January 6th stuff or um, uh, like uh, the abortion numbers are getting is pulling with women is so horrible that he feels he has to get on there and really hammer home how abortion needs to go back to the states and that's what women really need and and just again try and uh, minimize and darken and and poo poo if you will uh, women's reproductive rights because it's absolutely crushing him with women's votes as well it should be as well it should be with any Republican that uh, that is voting to support this. <laughs> I left the uh, closet door open where I grabbed the hat out and now the kitten is exploring the closet because, well, that's what cats do. <laughs> she doesn't get to go in that closet very often. Very exciting times. Don't you break anything in there. I'm a kitten. Why would I do that? <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Will Trump, for Carter, will Trump, as the energies stand now, will Trump debate Kamala Harris on CNN in the latter part of October, the third week of October? The Lover's Card. I'm going to say yes. I see it happening again. King of Swords. Eight of Coins. And the Ace of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. There's that Page of Pentacles again. It's almost like he's he's running out of opportunities to fundraise. Because this is my grifting card with him. Um, yeah, he'll do it because he wants the money. It's not even about policy. It's about money. Uh, attending the CNN debate... He'll do it, even though he knows he's gonna. He he knows in his down. He knows inside that he did not do well, and she killed him on it, despite what all these folks are saying. But you know, maybe he thinks he can win again. Now I'll just be an even tougher tough guy, and she'll uh, collapse underneath me. And it, there's also just this this rage of you know impot this impotent rage that he has. That he can't beat this woman. But ultimately, it's also about money and raising money. I think he'll do it simply because he's going to fundraise off of it beforehand, during, and after. As the energy stands now, I say, yeah, he's going to do it. And he's going to fundraise off of it. I didn't know what I want to throw on after that. Um, it's got to be something else. Um, will the debate, if this debate does come off, will Trump come across, will he perform similarly as he did the first debate? I guess is the best way to put it. Or uh, just how this debate, Look, at, let's look at the general energy of the debate. Maybe that's a better way to look at it. How, let's look at the general energy of this second debate and how that's going to go. Okay? And we'll wrap it up with that. Unless there's something that pops up in it. Ten of Wands, it's going to be a hard thing. It's going to be the final debate. It's going to be difficult here. Hang man, he's going to... Presidential debate. He's going to say more crazy stuff. He's just... He's going to show his butt again. That's going to cause people to look at him and say, This guy is a Looney Tune. No, he's, we're going to have another dogs and cats moment here. In the past, he got the judgment. Yeah, first debate did not go well for him despite the fake polls that he listens to. Literally, the polls he looks at are polls on True Social saying, did Trump, Donald Trump win the debate? And he only got 93% of the vote. <laughs> How many trolls are on True Social after all? Current situation. <coughs> How does the debate go? Eight of Swords. He's going to be victimized again. Now, he's going to go there to trumpet and stuff like that to, to speak his things, but he's just, he's bound, whether he gets fact-checked, 
Maybe he gets fact-checked or something like that. He's just tethered. He can't do anything. He'll come across as arrogant. It's going to be... It's, it's arrogance versus wishes and dreams come true. Somebody is going to be a clear, the clear master of the debate. Somebody is clearly going to win and have the mastery behind them. It's not going to, it's going to be similar to that first debate. Now, whether it's Kamala Harris that comes out on top or Donald Trump that comes out on top, I'm not exactly sure. Although if I were a betting man, I know exactly how I'd bet. Um, but much like in that first debate, when people watch it, they're going to know who won and who lost. Ace of Swords. Yeah, eh, voting's already started, but if people needed any more of their mind to be convinced, they'll have their mind convinced on this one. Okay, so um, since I do not see a situation where Kamala Harris is going to fumble this thing at all after she masterfully handled him in that first debate. Uh, you know, what's Donald Trump going to do different? I mean, even for the, the, the Trump supporters that may end up watching this, honest to God, what's he going to do different? What you saw in that debate is what you see in his rallies. It's what you saw in the previous debate. He doesn't adapt. He doesn't adjust. He doesn't put the effort in. Hell, he doesn't even put the effort into his golf game, and he likes golfing. He puts no effort into his golf game. He gets a faster cart so he can figure out better ways to cheat. And that's not me. Well, it is me saying that, but I'm not the source. That's what I've read on that one. The guy cheats at golf all the time. But in the people that he plays against, you know, they really don't care because it's not like they're betting money on it or it's a tournament that they they need to win or something like that. It's kind of like the shaking your head like, I cannot believe this guy's doing this. You know, just play the game. That's the whole point of golf is just play the game. Um, yeah, he doesn't adapt. He just changes the rules so that he always has the advantage. He literally is the, uh, the, the temper tantrum three-year-old playing Candyland and feels like he should get two turns to every one of yours or makes up different rules on it so that he can always win. He's not going to win this debate. Absolutely won't. Uh, his only goal at this one pretty much is to fundraise and whine about how poorly treated he was. But the whining how poorly treated you were is to help with the fundraising. You know, give me more money. I was so unfairly treated by those horrible CNN broadcasters. And that plays on his supporters who have been trained to hate CNN. And just to give him money whenever he, you know, basically it's like giving a, a child a binky when he's crying. His binky just happens to be made of cash. He's so draining. Only a couple more months, folks. Only like less. It's less than two months. God, it's September 22nd. One month is October 22nd. It's six weeks. We've only got six weeks left of this. We can get through this. We'll get there. Double check your registration to vote. Check out my community page. I have a link to vote.org. Am I registered? Click on that hyperlink. It'll take you to that page. If you don't trust my hyperlinks, God bless you. You don't need to. Just type in www.vote.org. And then on that page, there'll be like a little purple uh, tab on the center, just below the center uh, part of the screen that says, am I registered? Click on that. It will take you to that same page. You fill in your name and address and your birth date. And then hit in the county that you live in. Or, no, you don't have to put the county in. Just name and uh, just put in that information. Hit Check it, and it's done like that. 30 seconds to get it done. Maybe a minute if you're a slow typer. Uh, double check it, especially if you're in communities that are purging voter rolls. Double check your registration, and if they purged you, get yourself re-registered. It's important that you get out and vote. This is the most consequential election of our lifetimes. 2020 was the last most con uh, consequential election of our lifetimes. And this one is the most consequential one until maybe 2026 or 2028 but you got to get the ball rolling now get out and vote it's important thank you everyone for watching this uh, video and supporting my channel i appreciate it i hope you found this reading insightful it is for entertainment purposes only and i'll catch you on the next video take care